You hurt? No, I'm all right. Got the car here? Yeah. Give me a ride back to town, will you? All right. Come on. Hello, Kennedy. Hello, Gaunt. Any luck? Hmm. Take a look at this. The records show that he was released the day before Dr. Geronda disappeared. That clinches it. Joe Mitchell killed Montgomery. What was his motive? We'll clear that up when we find out why Mrs. Geronda came to Hobart's room. Well, where does Hobart fit in? Perhaps it's the old story of thieves falling out. Hmm. Situation makes it look bad for Mrs. Geronda. Okay. Before we jump at conclusions, let's see what Mrs. Geronda has to say. Stop acting like a caged animal. I don't like that crack. You've got no one to blame but yourself for spoiling the best chance you ever had of making a fortune. That's my hard luck and a break for you. Your end of the Gironda Gold formula will make you plenty. Come on, do I get what I want? I guess you do. And that's the whole sordid story. Of course. I'm glad you told me the truth, Mrs. Geronda. And Mother has nothing to worry about anymore. Nothing. If you'll just stay here with your mother, I have an appointment downstairs. Thank you. Now, don't you worry, Mother. Everything's going to be all right. Well, it didn't take you long. No, I'm glad to say. I've cleared up Mrs. Geronda's connection with this case. Oh, well, she came clean, eh? Yes. She was married to Joe Mitchell when he was sent to prison. On what charge? Blackmail. Divorced Mitchell and married Dr. Geronda. When Mitchell was released from the penitentiary, he immediately began to blackmail Mrs. Geronda. Threatened to tell that she was the wife of an ex-convict, eh? Yes. And uh, Mitchell's appearance, shortly after Dr. Geronda vanished, made it look bad for both of them. Did she tell what she was doing in the colonnade when Montgomery was stabbed? 
It seems that she had an appointment in the colonnade with Mitchell. And when Montgomery came in, she left. She didn't want Montgomery to see her talking to Mitchell. But why did Mitchell do away with Montgomery? Mitchell believed that Montgomery was spying on them and killed him. Oh. Hey, Craig, Shirley's got some information that might mean a break in this case for you. What is it, Miss McMillan? Mr. Denton asked me to come to his apartment. And while I was waiting in the reception room, I overheard him talking to a man named Hobart. What did they say? Hobart said he first had to get some assets at the Harbor Hotel to take aboard ship before leaving the country. Anything else? Denton told Hobart he had no one to blame for the trouble he was in but himself. Did he mention what the trouble was? No. But Mr. Hobart said that Mr. Denton's share of the Geronda Gold formula would make him a very rich man. Yes, continue. Well, I thought Mr. Denton was coming into the reception room, so I told the butler I couldn't wait, and then I would see Mr. Denton later. Gaunt, we've got to find out what these assets are that Hobart has hidden at the Harbor Hotel. If Denton calls you again, Miss McMillan, you make some excuse until you hear from me. All right, Gaunt. Come on, Walter. Number eight. Here, sir. Number three. Here. Number two. Present. Number eight. You get the subject aboard the Nelly D at once. Yes, sir. Number two, you help number eight take care of Captain Hanson. Yes, sir. Now, men, remember. You all know what you have to do. And uh, don't shoot unless you have to. All right. Take this. Yes, Let's beat it. Nobody here, Craig. They may be in the room on the other side. Well, let's take a look. Well, a wheelchair, eh? What's this? Cuff link? Here's a cuff link with the initial G on it. I'll bet that stands for Geronda. Geronda. Dr. Geronda, you're right, Jameson. 
his wheelchair, and he's been in this room. You all right, Jameson? Yeah, I'm all right. How about you? Fine. Hey, that's a very clever idea, that chute. Yeah. No doubt construct it to run a wheelchair up and down. I wouldn't doubt it. Captain Hanson, too. What happened, Sullivan? Well, I was watching the Nellie D when the crew, aided by some new members, mutinied. Captain Hanson went up to try to stop him, and they took after him. I tried to help the captain, and they uh, conked me. They all mutinied at all of them. He was overpowered and thrown in a hole. Say, Craig, just before the fight started, I heard the initials PG mentioned. PG? That must mean Paul Gironda. The Nellie D is sailing with a new captain. They've evidently got the doctor aboard. And if we're going to save him, we're going to have to hurry. Well, how do we get out of here? Well, that's the door they brought us down through.
Dr. Geronda. I'm glad we're in time. I'll get some help and we'll get you out of here. Jameson! 